Hello besties, welcome back to my channel Saruni YT. So let me clarify it right in the intro. There is no world with no physical books. So that was a clickbait. And if you're watching this video, it means that you took the bait. Yes, you took the bait. You're dumb. No, I was just kidding. We are going to imagine a world with no physical books. We are going to discuss the preference, the experience, and which one is better, ebooks or physical books. Here we explore stories, stories that matter. Welcome aboard readers, fasten your seatbelts for the most amazing journey of your life. Journey through fiction and fantasy. So I read a story in my ninth standard of two kids who are attending online school and their school is practically right beside their bedroom and they have robotic teachers, ebooks. So I was thinking that inspired an idea in my mind, like which one is better, ebooks or normal books? So I thought, let's discuss this question with my community. Why ponder alone when we can do it together? So, my community is practically nothing right now, and I know that. So, probably I'm the only one who is pondering about this question right now. Now, you don't need to console me. Of course, I know YouTube takes time to grow. I'm not dumb. Let's start with ebooks. Ebooks, why I think ebooks are preferable. Right, so one very important thing about ebooks is that they save trees. Green India, clean India. Right. If you're not an Indian, you can't relate to it. Leave it. So, yes, so ebooks save trees. Like, of course, paper comes from trees and publishing so many books, and each book is manufactured so many times for so many readers. I'm saying so many, so many times, right? So, yeah, ignore that. But so many books and so many pages, and that takes a lot of paper and that kills a lot of trees. So, ebooks eliminate that process they protect trees they're practically just software right so there is no killing trees i hope you understood it why wouldn't you are you a kid you will definitely understand it right so the next thing is that ebooks are portable like they take no space and they can be carried practically anywhere in the world so say you are taking a flight from India to US and say it takes 12 hours. Does it take 12 hours? We shouldn't be distracted. Say it takes 12 hours and you decide, oh, I'm going to read three books in 12 hours. I never did that, but is it humanly possible to read three books in 12 hours? Again, you're distracting me. No, we are going to fix to this topic, right? So, if you say that I'm going to read three books in 12 hours, you don't need to stuff those books in your bag and carry their weight throughout the journey. No, you don't need to do that. You can just download three ebooks in your phone and you can carry your phone everywhere. It's practically so light, right? Light, right? So, the next thing why I think ebooks are preferable is that they're easily searchable. Let me explain it to you what I mean when I say searchable. Is it a word, searchable? Or did I just invent a word? I'm a scientist. Ignore that. So, yes, why ebooks are searchable? Like, uh, ignore fictional stories and ignore novels, but if you take subject books, practically you need to search about a formula and it's really important. You really need that right on that second and you can just type on the search bar and you will find the right page within seconds. So that's why ebooks are magical. They're God's creation. No, they are not. They're human creation. So, next thing about ebooks is that they don't need to perish, 
right? We don't even need to discuss whether they are perishable, whether they are non-perishable. They don't need to perish. They can just stay in your phone and you can delete it whenever you don't want an ebook to stay in your phone because ebooks stay rent-free in your phone and probably you are angry that they stay rent-free. You want rent from an ebook? You stupid. I'm being so rude in this video. I don't know what happened to me, but yeah, ebooks are not perishable and they just don't need to perish at all. You can just delete them. So that's one thing which is very preferable about ebooks. Good for the environment. That's all about ebooks. Now let's discuss why I think books are preferable, why books are better than ebooks. So I couldn't come to a conclusion which one is better. So you are going to clarify it to me in the comment section. Oh. Books. Let's discuss about books. So one thing we talked about uh, ebooks was they don't need to perish. So talking about books, of course, paper is non-perishable and but it can be recycled. Well, I'm an Indian and I'm going to tell you about the paper recycling statistics in India. Like 25 to 28 percent of the local paper is recycled. So that's a huge percentage. And India also takes imports from other countries of waste paper, which it recycles to produce new paper. Right. So that's an amazing fact. I just told you. Remember that you might need it in the future. Ignore that. So the waste materials of your phones and tabs, because your ebooks are present in your tabs, right? And if you download so many ebooks, your phone's utility is going to decrease. And average utility of a phone is just one year for an average user. But you can use it for some more time, say six years max. But if you throw your phone after that and it becomes electronic waste, right? So Electronic waste is increasing at a rate of 30%. That's a huge percentage again. And this data is from Associated Chambers of Commerce Industry of India. So it's legit. I am not bluffing. So, so if even subject books are made into ebooks, then all the students, say from the poor community, they will need phones too. And if 100% of the population starts using phones and then throws it away after its utility is completed, then the electronic waste is going to increase. That's a problem in the long term. So I don't think ebooks are that preferable after all. So moreover, your phones and tabs that will store your ebooks are produced in industries which release a lot of air pollutants, water pollutants and a lot of non-perishable waste also. So all this is again harmful for the environment. So even if you are saving trees by using ebooks, you are again damaging the environment in another way. So I don't think ebooks are a very ideal replacement for books. So the next thing about physical books is that they don't cause medical issues. Like you can read a book and it will not damage your health. But if you have ebooks, like um, ebooks, what like ebooks? You will have ebooks in your phones and tabs and you get spectacles like this, huge ones that you have to wear till you get a laser operation, which is again a complex process. So yeah. Books are preferable in that context, right? And next thing is that the low RF radiations that are released from your phones and tabs, they can cause frequent headaches, migraines, psychological disorders, and also brain tumors. It's legit. It's real. I'm not bluffing. So it's all from Wikipedia. So yeah, you can check it. If you don't believe me, why would you? You're not my friend. So yeah. That is one thing. So phone excess phone usage can cause behavioral problems. So that's one thing why ebooks are not good for children and not even good for adults, right? So books are preferable in that context. 
and one more very important things can you make annotations in your ebooks like can you underline can you highlight your favorite quotes and your important points like don't you do that readers whenever you read a book there will be a lot of paperwork in that book you highlight every quote you like place bookmarks you can't do that in ebooks so the experience is better with physical books so that's the end of the video guys that's all i want to say in this video and i'm done with my side of for and against ebook so do write in the comments what do you think about ebooks versus books which one is better which one do you prefer which one do you think is good for the environment i'm talking so fast i should slow down right drink some water okay so i'm going to do that Bye bye. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Comment, definitely comment. I need an answer from you guys. And bye bye.